What's up? What's going on? I hope everybody's been having a good week. Welcome to another installment of The Liquid King Chronicles. And of course, I'm your host, The Liquid King, your mom's favorite vapor. I just had a bit of an incident right before I filmed this review. Um, I, I shook up the e-liquid bottle to make sure it was uh, well incorporated because it's been sitting for a little while and the lid came off and went all over my face all over the other shirt I was wearing all over my shorts all over everything so yeah that sucks anyways um, I ordered this e-liquid not too long ago and I've been waiting for a, a little while to to get this e-liquid in and this e-liquid in particular has been out for a while it comes in blueberry and strawberry flavored and um, I want to dive right into this review because I do want to vape this. This e-liquid is super strudel, okay? Don't know if anybody's tried this before, but it is a Max VG liquid. Pretty cool packaging. It basically states that it is a strudel with strawberry jam and cream cheese glaze. 30 milliliter bottle. I don't feel that this is aimed towards children. It is a little cartoonish in my opinion, but it's pretty cool packaging nonetheless. It looks very old school, um, normal stuff, ingredients on the outside of it. Prop 65 warning, it just basically states that nicotine um, basically in California is known to cause birth defects or rep reproductive harm. Do not ingest, keep away from children and pets, and underage sale is prohibited. Well, this e-liquid comes in 0, 3, and 6 milligram nicotine, and it comes in this cool little bottle covered in strawberries. Got the little toaster with the strudels popped out. I don't know if you guys ever tried them from Pillsbury, but I wasn't a really big fan of those in particular as a kid. We were always a Pop-Tart house, so yeah. This bottle is a 30 milliliter bottle with a child-proof um, dripper. And you can score this for $18.99. That's what I've basically seen it going for in the sites that I've got it from. And... Um, it smells pretty good from the, the stuff that I spilt all over the place. It smells pretty damn good, so I can't wait to vape it. Again, it's strudel, strawberry jam, and cream cheese glaze. Let's go ahead and give it a sniff. Yeah. What I taste right off the bat is a pastry style aroma. A little bit of strawberry. I don't smell any cream cheese glaze. Let's go ahead and see what this tastes like. It tastes pretty damn good, if I may say so myself. So, I've got this. As always, guys, this is my tester for my reviews. Um, single 22 gauge Canthal. Fresh cotton, nice and wet, um, on my black chrome with my j Indestructible, okay? Max VG, 30 milliliter bottle. I want to see the vapor production. So, with no further ado, let's have a vape. Vapor production's okay. Um, Max, Max VG basically states, if you're very, very new to vaping, what a Max VG is, is they're allowed to put the maximum amount of vegetable glycerin in it without affecting the flavor of the original flavor profile. So it doesn't disclose if it's an 80-20, a 90-10, a 70-30. It looks like a 70-30 to me. And that's how much fell out of the bottle. But I've never vaped this before until just now. 
But um, yeah, it's a, it looks like a 70-30 to me. A lot of you would probably agree. I'm gonna wet the coils up real quick. And then we're gonna dive right into uh, the flavor, what it tastes like. Let me go the vape on it. I've got to be honest. It's very generic tasting. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that. All I taste is strawberries and a little bit of pastry. This could easily be a donut vape. I don't know. I don't mean to be grouchy or grumpy, but it, it really didn't do much for me. Yeah, it's okay. It's not anything special. And obviously, um, taste is subjective. What I feel might taste disgusting, you may feel taste absolutely fantastic. What I think may taste absolutely fantastic, you may think sucks balls. So that's the fun part about vaping. I will always leave a link in the description of where you can get this juice and you can basically vape this for yourself and tell me I'm an asshole and tell me it was delicious and I don't know what I'm talking about. Or you could vape this and tell me that my review and my opinion is spot on. It's the way that it goes, it is subjective. So everybody's got different opinions. For as far as the strudel flavor, I mean I do taste a little bit of pastry. It's on my lips a little bit and a strawberry jam flavor I don't get any cream cheese glaze whatsoever which in my honest opinion would be the number one flavor that I would like to taste strawberry be second and then the strudel basically finish at the end if in a perfect world that could be the vape that I would want because when you basically made a toaster strudel as a kid you would cover the first one with that little packet and you have nothing for the second one so that's the biggest thing that I would like to taste oh I got this thing locked up that's the biggest thing that I'd like to taste yeah it's nothing special On exhale, you'll get that really doughy, cakey, strudel flavor is what they're calling it. I feel it tastes like a glazed donut, but that's the that's the flavor that I get. And then I do get a very sweet strawberry jam flavor. In no way, shape, or form do I taste cream cheese glaze. Maybe on a regulated mod I would to be able to basically vape it in temp control or, you know what I mean, maybe 50, 60 watts. I don't know what this thing's pumping out, but... It's, it's okay. If I was to give it a 1 through a 10, 1 being absolutely terrible, and 10 being knocked my fucking socks off, 6.5. Again, you may disagree. You may have this in your collection as you're watching this and saying, this guy's fucking crazy. This is, this is fire. It's subjective. It is subjective. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Liquid King Chronicles. I'm sorry for cussing, um, but, of course, I am your host, the Liquid King. And this concludes my e-liquid review. I love you guys so much. Uh, we just hit 200 subscribers. Um, we're going strong. So I want this channel to be um, a big deal. Okay? I want this to be in everybody's home. Okay? So have a good night. Take care, guys. And I will see you tomorrow.